Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we are checking out the GBD Winmax 2021 AMD model with Ryzen 7 4800G processor. We will be running some system and gaming benchmarks then comparing the results to other handhelds. We have already unboxed and had a closer look at the Winmax 2021 in our Intel model review a few months back. The box contents and device are visibly identical. If you would like to see the unboxing and overview, you can find the video link in the description or linked on screen at the end of the video. Inside you can find an AMD Ryzen 7 4800G processor with Radeon graphics. It's the same used on the Ioneo and One X player. There's 16 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and 1TB of M.2 NVMe storage. There's a couple of differences between the AMD and Intel models. For wireless there is Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 4.2 whereas the Intel version has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5. One other difference is that the AMD model does not have Thunderbolt ports, so you would not be able to use an eGPU for example. Battery life at 20 watts TDP sitting idle on the desktop is around 11 hours and 30 minutes, and under full load it's around 2 hours and 30 minutes. Fan noise levels are 61 decibels under full load. This is tested in average office noise conditions and the noise meter is around 2 inches from the fan exhaust. By default the GPD Winmax 2021 AMD model has a TDP of 16 watts. For these benchmarks we have changed the TDP to 20 watts to keep it in line with our other handheld tests which are also using 20. Passmark stress tests the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to the maximum over a number of artificial tests. This gives us a good indication of peak performance. The Winmax 2021 AMD model scores 4840. PCMark runs a series of tests for the more day to day tasks you may be performing. These tests include web browsing, working with office documents and media consumption. The Max 2021 AMD model scores 5290. 3D Mark tests the CPU and GPU together for video performance. This is mainly for gaming but also useful for video decoding and editing for example. The AMD model scores 1372. We are running Forza Horizon 4 at 1280x720 on the ultra graphic settings. The AMD model scores 45 frames per second average over the course of the benchmark. The score is very good when compared to other AMD based standouts. For our Street Fighter 5 benchmark we are running at 1920x1080 on the maximum graphic settings. Over the course of the match we get an average of 30.4 frames per second. Next in our benchmarks is the Final Fantasy XIV benchmark, running at 1920x1080 at higher desktop settings. The AMD model's final score is 3283. We will finish the benchmarks with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We are running at 1280x720 resolution and testing on the lowest and highest graphic settings to see the difference in performance. On the lowest graphic settings, the GPD Winmax 2021 AMD model scores 57 frames per second. And on the highest graphic settings, it scores 28 frames per second. Both are decent results. A quick recap of the model's scores. Overall they are good scores for 20 watts TDP, 
but do keep in mind that the default is 16 watts so you would need to change this in the BIOS and next we can compare the results with the Ion Neo 2021 Pro and the One X Player AMD which both have the same processor as well as the OXP 5700G model which is a newer processor with similar performance levels. The Winmax is not far behind the Ion Neo Pro in quite a few of the benchmark results. It's certainly higher than the One X Player AMD models. Overall, the GPD Winmax 2021 AMD model is very competitive against the Aya Pro, and you do have the larger screen, built-in keyboard, HDMI output, Ethernet port, and overall longer battery life to consider if you are torn between deciding. That wraps up our GPD Winmax 2021 AMD review. You can learn more and buy yours at droix.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with our videos. We have some great handheld videos coming very soon. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in our next video.